I'm delighted to share some of my top tips for creating a design for the Jubilee emblem. So one would be to start with the basics. What are the first ideas that jump out at you when you imagine the emblem? These can often create the most emotive and um, impactful graphics. Two would be to experiment, play around, test, drawing it by hand, cutting out shapes from paper or other materials you might have lying around that add qualities you might not expect. How simple can you make it? Strip out all the detail and see how it looks. Or alternatively, how decorative can you make it? Go to town and embellish it um, to the max. Three would be to make it yours. I'm always surprised at how much you can evoke with basic shapes and a few of your favourite colours. Once I've had my first round of test designs, sleeping on it is always a really good idea. A lot can change in a few days and my eyes can spot details I didn't see the first time around. Some designs I thought were amazing, now look really boring. But then again, it's sometimes it's the ones you did in 10 seconds that really nail it. So don't feel bad if it didn't take you long, as this is sometimes where the magic happens. My favourite places for inspiration are at the back of a bookshelf or, at the moment, old board games and their packaging. The graphics are always super punchy and the colours really vivid and playful. They are designed um, to encourage play after all. I love looking at the details. Uh, the shapes, lettering, often hand-drawn and filled in. It's this combination for me that gives it depth. And I'm always trying to bring that quality into my own work. It's not too clean and shiny. It's the texture and the warmth. It's in the fabric of the design. Another tip would be not to get too many opinions. This can send you around the bend and push you far away from your gut. Definitely show it to the people that care about your work. So for me, it's my two sisters. They're a great sense check. We have a lot of similarities, but they also don't hold back in expressing their opinion. So they understand my work intimately and then often give me the best advice. Um, what else? How do you make your design different and make sure it stands out? For me, it's following your instincts and having fun with it. It is a celebration after all, and the energy that that energy that's gone into making it always shines through for me and it's like a moth to flame when I can tell someone's really enjoyed the process of making it. So I'm really, really looking forward to seeing all the designs that you guys come up with. Um, so thanks for letting me um, join in.